Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make an animated user bar. So, go to File, New. Uh, select whatever size you want for your user bar. For this I'm going to be using 136 and then 42. Now, uh, for a user bar, right, whenever you're doing an animated image, you have to have a background you can't have it transparent well, like you can but like if you do it won't look right and it'll end up being extremely buggy at least the way I'm showing you how to do it there may be another way to do it and have it fine but I don't think there is so what you would want to do is if you were going to a website well let's say you had your own website and you were making user bars for yours you're gonna want to uh, get the background color of where the user bars would be sitting on your forms Okay, for this video, let's say, uh, let's say I, I'll, I'll show you an example actually. Okay, for my forms, I'm going to open them, and I'll just go to my welcome back thread. Okay, you're going to notice that uh, it's this color here. For a color like this, as you can tell, it's clearly different. It'd be a little harder, but it shouldn't be too hard. So what you do is print screen it, right? Then go to Photoshop, click New, and it should have its size. And then Control V to paste it. And then you're going to take your coloring tool here, and you're going to just click right here around. You're going to notice you're going to get this color. Just copy that, exit that. Now you can make this your background. Okay, now you zoom in. Pick uh, which one you would like to use for your user bar. So let's say I wanted to do this one. Just do it quick. Okay. Now you can pick whatever color you want. Some people would base their user bars off their staff colors. Others would just have them all the same color. So, but just a suggestion, I guess. But uh, okay. Now that we have this, just scroll down. And now I'm gonna go to my B. Be level. Uh, you can set yours to do this as well if you want. I'll give you guys a second to see that. Now I'm going to add stroke and I'm going to lower it down a little bit. Now it looks a little bad, so I'm going to lower my B level just a little bit put it to like 15, this one to like 20, I guess. See what that looks like. Okay, looks good enough I would say for uh, an educational video. Alright, now you add your text and for your animation you gotta think of what you wanna do. So for this video I think what I'll be doing is having the background bar have a shine, kind of like my animated signature tutorial. And, uh, yeah. Now I can select here. Say I want to have it that color. Now, once again, you're going to need your timeline bar. And what you do to get this, go to Window, Timeline. And then it should open this up. Okay, now make your uh, secondary bar. Let's have mine go in the background blue. As usually blue is a nice color to have a shine with when you're doing something like this. Now you can have it stand up straight like this, or you could tilt it this way, that way, whatever way you want. I personally like doing it this way. It makes it look a little more sleek, if you know what I mean. Okay, now get out of here, apply that if it asks you. Now drag this right above your uh, image. So if I was going to do this on my text, I'd have it above my text. Okay, and then click Create Clipping Mask. What this will do is it'll, it'll pretty much hide it except for when it's on the image below. So you won't see, like, you don't see it now, but if I were to drag it over, you would start to notice it like so. Now what this will do is it will go across and across and keep repeating right and you, if you notice down here it says forever forever means the animation will go and never stop 
three times means three times once means once you can set up another but usually what I do for my animations is if I'm doing something like this I just have it go forever so now you can mess with this do whatever you like I'm going to keep mine on normal you can change your optimicity uh, probably have mine like 35 and you could also do blending options like inner shadow that if you really wanted to sometimes depending uh, drop shadow looks nice if you put it to let's say 90 okay now I'm just gonna do a little uh, change to this make it look a little better than what it already does just add a little gloss like I showed in my other video once again make sure you make a new layer above your image and then just do this and then also make sure that this once again like I said before is under okay now put this back and now we're gonna click this this will make a second frame make sure your second frame is highlighted now click this and now you're gonna drag it all the way across the other side until it's completely invisible again so pretty much do what I'm doing now but also before doing this part make sure you have everything done so example if I was wanting to do changes to my text I would have to do it in both my frames where if I did all like did all while it was on one frame and then did a second frame it copies everything over so and then it saves you a lot of time okay now we're nearly there to the end now once you get over to here stop that now we're gonna do this and then we're gonna do let's do like 35 now it's gonna create a whole bunch of frames do a preview of your frame make sure it's what you want and there we go we just made a simple animated uh, user bar also when you're saving uh, gif images like I said before make sure you have a background that matches where it's going to be added and then after that you don't save gif images as well animated images as PNG or JPEG you're going to go to file save as or actually no sorry did it wrong you're going to go file save for web and then you're going to see this go here click gif it's going to do this and then you click save and then you can upload it alright thank you for watching and uh, if you have any suggestions feel free to post them